Hello guys and welcome back. So, uh, we're a couple of days later since the last sort of vlog. Um, AC340's been flat out uh, slurry tanking. Um, or spare than slurry with uh, the high spec it isn't mine. Um, it's my mates, I need to return it. So we'll just return it because he's only down the road so it's not like he's going far. Um, but I'm surprised he was even able to pull it. Um, it's basically a little bit of a, I guess you could say, backstory. Um, I had asked my mate, because I'm after a, a slurry tanker, and obviously with the cows going to be in the shed, they're going to be giving me slurry and I'm going to need to spread it. Um, and it'll be good to spread on the field. Um, so I asked him um, if I could borrow his because um, obviously the dealership have a couple high spec uh, tankers um, and I was interested in a high spec tanker um, so he said yeah go ahead um, so I've only tried it on the 8340 pulls it fine um, turn on it's going a bit slow but we'll just be fine um, it has got like beacons on the back of it um, like on the top of it uh, so in uh, the night there won't just be beacons and stuff on the track there there'll be some on the back of the tanker which I think is pretty cool um, I'm not sure I need to ask um, I'll need to either ask him or have a look um, at how much it is at the dealership because it would be good to get a free tanker uh, but he's not he's literally up the road here so he's not far um, he literally wanted me to leave it where I got it from, um, so let's do that. Just sand on my brakes in, because they tell you in the dirt. There you go. Going a bit slow. Right, so there's no one coming. Right, there's a car coming down there, so I'm going to have to be quick about this. I have to get out, open the gate. Um. It's locked. Uh, right, I'm in the middle of the road. Um, he's got a lock on it. Um, so uh, we'll just leave it in one of his fields and just let him know later. Um, so that's where I got it from. Um, so I'm assuming he's locked it because I mean there's a lock on it. So. Um, um, so, where's the best place to leave it? I guess we'll just leave it here. Um, we'll straighten it up. Um, um, so, hopefully, I'll just make sure everything's out. PTO. Yep. Okay. So, I'll just leave it there. Hopefully it doesn't roll down the hill. Now this is tight. Um, yeah, we're not going to make that without hitting the, the gate post. We don't want to be doing that. Um, so we'll just tell him, after I've finished filming, I'll tell him where I left it. Um, he's expecting me to return it any time today, so... There's no one coming here. Just gonna go. Yeah, just far away. Um, so he lives there. That's his car there. Um, this is like his small little like yard bit here. Um, most of his kit. Um, our rat is like he's got a, a yard somewhere else where he, where he keeps most of his kit. Um, but he owns the fields and then obviously the house is where he lives. Um. So yeah, um, I wasn't expecting that uh, sort of field or paddock or whatever to be locked. Um, but yeah, it was open when I went to get it, so maybe you forgot to t tell me, which isn't a problem. Um, so yeah, let's head back. So yeah, not much has really happened. Um, obviously the tank has been returned. Um, 
To be fair, the grass is, doesn't look like it's been made, to be fair, it's grown quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure if he actually has used those fields or not. Um, but I think he has three fields around the area of his house and obviously that little field where the gate was locked. And I'm going to call it a field because, I mean, it basically is. Um, so yeah, um, we'll just park this up here. Show the beacons off, yep. Yeah. So, uh, I'll, um, we'll get, actually you know what, we'll get in the Matty before, um, before we get in the T6. So, basically, um, there's not much going on, I'm just putting stuff in the shed ready for winter. Make sure that's attached, there you go. Um, so, we'll park this here so it's ready, um, and then we'll hop in the T6. Also, all these bales here are ready for the cows, um, which are going to be coming in, um, in about two weeks, I think. Uh, so, yeah, we've got all these bales here ready and then we got the pit size which I reckon would be about probably 80% now um, so we'll probably feed the bales first and once that's uh, fully fermented we'll start feeding that to the cows time is it? 11 to 1 or so far um, surprisingly the past couple of days at this time hasn't been as sunny um, which is nice to get a bit of sun in October it's still a bit of a breeze and cold, but there is some, some which is nice. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put the fertilizer spreader in front of the bag. So we'll just leave that on because we're not really going anywhere. Um, and then we'll hop in the fifty six twelve. And then we'll just move it over a bit. I'm hoping, I can't see, but I'm hoping I can, I think I've got that through, yeah, good, it's a bit mucky on the floor there, um, I mean on the glass as well, but I actually might, I've got the pressure washer now, we might just clean it off. Um, don't want it too far back, because we might hit the wall with the, the spikes but I don't want to knock over the bag and yeah um, so that, that stuff there is going to be put away as well um, but for now it'll just be left um, we'll just point the forks down a minute because we will have to put this away but for now it's a bit of a tight squeeze um, so we'll get in the T6 and then I reckon we could probably put a tractor or something in front it might be sticking out a bit um, yeah it depends how far back the fertiliser spreader is because obviously it's going to have to be quite far back but it can't be I'll swap out so it doesn't hit the bag. Um, I'm not sure right there. Uh, go back a bit. Probably. Um, and then we'll drop that off. Make sure everything's off. PTO, yeah. There you go. Um, see, you could even fit a tractor here. Yes, the bonnet would be sticking out, maybe a bit. Um, but, still probably work. Um, I mean, it's better than just having it out in the yard. I mean, most of these, uh, most of the tractors and kit and everything is going to be in, in the sheds anyway. Um, 8340 and the Massey will be brought in here, probably. Beacons off? No, they're not. They're on. 
have to do it. It should be off. There you go. Um, yeah, we'll put the Massey back first. So we're going to put the header trailer um, next to the fertilizer spreader. I was going to use a T6, um, but then I remembered that's why I put the E340 over there. Um, so get the E340 doing some work, get some hours on it. go and then drop these spikes down and we'll turn that off hopefully yeah that beacons are off so yeah there's not much is really happening um recently and obviously the spread and slurry. Um, it wasn't on my fields, it was on uh, my friend's fields. So I don't want to hit the trailer before I even attach to it. Um, those, like, sort of, uh, I forgot what they're called, but um, the shocks or whatever. They've, like, they haven't really stopped the trailer from rolling down the hill because it was against a fence and now it's rolled down a bit so um or maybe because the ground's slippy because it is a bit muddy in there always like accidentally or close to uh, hitting that roof on the little shed thing there um where the skid steer is and the skid steer will probably uh, it's gonna have to be brought probably over there in this little where there's uh where the double bay lister is um, because it's going to be mucking out the, sh uh, the shed for the cows and it's going to be giving the chickens grain instead of using the trailer um, which after once the wheat in the trailer's gone I will need to go to the dealership and buy some wheat now I don't want to hit the shed so on the shed wall um, go back a bit. It's going to be sticking out a bit, um, but it's not like the tractor is going to be staying on it. So, if the tractor was, um, then it would be half much sort of protection, I guess. Um, I might be a bit close, but we'll see. Go around here. Uh, oh yeah, that's a bit close. Right, we'll attach it there. Because I don't want to go any further back and then hit hit the uh, or well, damage the trailer and hit the wall. Um, for now, we'll just keep it out here again. Um, spin round. And there you go. It's a bit tight, so we're gonna go this way a bit, so it's not too tight against the wall. Uh, but yeah, I love this track there. I'm glad I got it, um, especially before the winter as well. Um, but yeah, so the next vlog will be uh, in a couple of days, and then the vlog after that we should be in November, um, which will be a couple of weeks after. But we'll be, we should be. Sort of, I guess you could say. Um, obviously, the weather's going to be different and the cows are going to be coming in. So, yeah. Um, a little bit of bail after these bales need to be put under the shed or something. Um, but yeah, these need to be taken into the shed as well. That'll probably happen in the next vlog. Just put everything in the shed and stuff. Um, sort of in the yard, really. Uh, but yeah, there's not much really going on. Um, so, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and bye.